Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Jang Ho from We Lift Weights, and this is part 4 of Shinsung University and Kaiyo High School Training Camp. The previous parts are linked in the description below. Also, in part 3, Rakue and Kotaro basically maxed out, so make sure you check that out as well. So this session was filmed right after Kotaro and Rakue finished working on heavy classics while the Korean team and Nanasa worked on some off-season training. Rakue and Kotaro worked on some heavy classics because they had a competition coming up. By the way, this athlete from squatting 175 kilos is a middle schooler. That's really strong for a middle school athlete. So here's Kotaro working on 90 kilo cleaning jerks. He worked up to 125 kilos for four singles. He missed one of the sets, so I think he was trying to work on his technique. Usually Kotaro only starts squat jerking from 130 kilos and above, but I think he was trying to refine his squat jerk technique. So this is Kawasaki Nanasa and coach Kawasaki watching in the back. As you might have guessed, Kawasaki coach is Nanasa's mom. Coach Kawasaki is the weightlifting coach at Kaiyo High School, which Nanasa, Rakue, and Kotaro are from. So that was it for the AM training session. Now we've moved on to PM training session. This starts at 3 p.m. and lasts till 6 p.m. However, I noticed that most of them finish their workout by 5.30 p.m. So this is my first time seeing puppies running around a weightlifting gym. I don't think I've ever seen pets being allowed in a high school or a university in Japan. Coach Kawasaki was excited to see the cute puppies running around. So as I mentioned previously, uh, this training camp was hosted by Shinsung University and a bunch of middle school athletes joined in during this training camp. So the program for this day was 12 sets of snatch pulls, 8 sets of power snatch and jump balance. You'll see what I mean in few minutes, and then 10 sets of 4 of muscle snatches at the end. Lots of sets and reps. Obviously this program is not for competition prep. So during this training camp, I've noticed the Japanese team is not very accustomed to this type of high pulls. Usually when the Japanese athletes refer to high pulls, they're talking about panda pulls, the Chinese style. That is Coach Tasol on the left, teaching her athlete to focus on pushing the ground with her legs and staying over the bar until the bar reaches power position. When I coach beginners, I actually prefer teaching this method of high pull over the Chinese panda pulls. When beginners try to do panda pulls, I notice that instead of pulling the bar high, they tend to cut the extension short and try to pull under as fast as possible. Also, their center of balance is just everywhere, going back and forth during the pull. This style of high pull usually forces you to focus more on correct center of balance also teaches you to pull your elbows high ideally your elbows want to be around shoulder height so Pyongjun, the athlete sitting in the back 
was trying to teach Rakue to stay more upright during the pull and stay over the bar for longer. And now we have Coach Tongwu teaching Rakue how to use his arms properly during the pull. He's telling Rakue that he needs to use his traps more effectively. So here's Nanasa working on some snatch high pulls. Once again, she just has great technique. Her posture during the pull and the way she uses her elbows, everything is just really solid looking. And here is a middle school athlete. I believe she's like 12. But as you can see here, she has great technique for a 12 year old. Here the coach is teaching her to finish her pull before extending aggressively, staying patient, but he wasn't happy with the fact that she uh, pushed her bar out in front of her. Now they have moved on to snatch without contact plus jump balances. Rakue doesn't have much experience with this exercise, so he is struggling here with 50 kilos. By the way, if you're enjoying this content, please make sure to subscribe and like this video. It really helps out the channel grow. Also, if you have any questions regarding the Korean team or the Japanese team, let me know in the comment section. I will try to answer them as much as possible. And this is what the Korean athletes call jump balances. It's basically making your overhead squat more difficult by jumping. Honestly, I've never seen athletes outside of Korea work on this type of training. They have a similar exercise for the clean as well, where they jump with the bar racked onto their shoulders. So Nanasa has never done this exercise as well, but she makes it look smooth. If you guys have never done this exercise, I suggest you guys give it a try. It's absolutely brutal. If you hate overhead squats or snatch balances, you will hate this exercise for sure. By the way, I believe snatch with no contact is a great exercise for anyone who has a bad habit of extending too early during their pull. Because you're forced to not make contact, you can't extend your body completely during the pull. Since you're not making contact with the bar, you can't bang the barbell out in front of you even if you wanted to. It also teaches you to finish with your arms aggressively during the catch.
Hey, get it, get it. So you guys might have noticed that Rockaway's last rep looked super easy, but he still managed to miss his third rep. And that is because he pushed his elbows under the bar too early on the third rep. But on the last rep, he did a great job of pulling his elbows high up. He gave the bar more height, and that's why he was able to make it look easy. Rockway is not a big fan of muscle snatches, especially without contact. I feel like people who struggle with power snatches also struggle in the muscle snatches as well. Obviously, there are exceptions. So I've mentioned this in part one as well, but the boys are notorious for skipping sets. Obviously, the coaches are not stupid and they realize this, but I asked the head coach about this and he told me that he realizes this and that's why he prescribes a bunch of sets to them in the first place. He knows they're gonna end up skipping some sets anyways. Now Pyongjun is trying to teach Rakuei to stay over the bar longer. Instead of pushing his knees in too early, he's trying to teach Rakuei to extend the knees, hips together. And now they started doing some stretches. Rakuei was struggling with some mobility around his shoulders, so Pyongjun was teaching him this mobility exercise. Uh, by the way, I just want to warn everyone that you shouldn't try this exercise if you don't have good mobility to begin with. Pyongjun makes it look easy here, but this is a very tough mobility exercise. Pyongjun was teaching Rakuei that he needs to focus on pushing his chest forward instead of pushing his arms back. Rakuei has great lower body mobility but he kinda lacks mobility around his shoulders so this might be a great way for him to improve on his front rack and overhead positions during the snatch. So 
Here are Coach Anna's little puppies. The brown one is named Pori, and the black one is Bronco. Pori is Bronco's mom, by the way. いや、いや、いや、大丈夫です。大丈夫です。緊張なよ。乗っと緊張なよ。乗っと。乗っと。乗っと。乗っと。乗っと。乗っと。乗っと。乗っと。乗っと。乗っと。乗っと。乗っと
I have knee sleeves, t-shirts, and weightlifting tapes. As always, thank you for watching this video till the end and I'll see you in the next one.